Hello everybody and welcome to my 76th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use the delete uh, statement in SQL and so we're going to do this in a new sub down here so let's just do sub uh, delete a record uh, and then we want to put in the uh, dim deleting id uh, string and deleting id equals input box and then let's just ask please input id to be deleted uh, and then we just want to create our SQL string. So SQL str equals, and we want to delete all from. Uh, and I very rarely delete a individual field. I'll always delete a whole record. So I always just use the, the, the star if I'm doing anything. Um, if I'm going to be changing fields, uh, I'll normally use an update. Uh, statement that I'll come on into in the next tutorial um, or I'll delete the entire record and I'll put a new one in uh, with a kind of different time stamp on it I guess um, so delete all from users and we don't want to leave it there because at the moment this is going to delete all the records in our users table and it's very rare that you want to delete the entire table tables contents um, so we need to be careful. So we need to put where, and then uh, user ID equals, and then deleting ID, and then we just put another apostrophe at the end. Um, and yeah, you've just got to be very careful that uh, you don't have it as um, deleting everything in the table. So make sure your where clause is spot on and it's only going to be selecting what you want to delete because otherwise you can lose a lot of data. Uh, when you're in a testing period, it's probably worth just making copies of your tables because you don't want to end up deleting everything by accident. Um, and then we just need to do our connection to the database. So call connect database. Uh, and let's put our close, call close database at the end. Uh, and then we are going to put in our code in the middle. So dbcom dot execute and then SQL SDR. And notice how we only ever use the record set when we're taking information from the database. So for our inserts, our deletes, and coming on to our updates, we're literally just executing the SQL string into our database. So if we press play on this, it's gonna come up with our box asking us for the uh, ID to be deleted. So I'm gonna delete uh, I'm going to delete Leslie, I'm fed up of Leslie, uh, and so let's delete them, press OK, and then come back into here, let's just re reopen it, and let's not change the changes, and now Leslie's gone, uh, let's delete someone else, I'm getting quite excited about deleting people, uh, let's get rid of Greg, uh, Greg, press OK, and then when we refresh our records in here, this is crazy. I open it. I forgot how you refresh them quicker. And then Greg's gone as well. Um, so that is how you use the delete statement in SQL. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. Uh, as I've said before, all of these the code is available to download on the website. If you follow the link in the description below. And if you're enjoying these tutorials, please, please, please subscribe. 
uh, and like us on Facebook or follow us on Google Plus. Okay, thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial where we'll be going into update statements.